10 Weirdest Dog Behaviors Explained Dogs may not appear as mysterious as cats, but they still exhibit some pretty strange habits. Their body languages and social characteristics are complex for us to understand as humans. You might think it's odd, but the need for dogs to smell buttocks, hump legs, and chase their tails helps them communicate even better. To help understand your dog's weird habits, we've compiled a list of 10 canine behaviors that many people find puzzling. Number one, moving in a circular motion before lying down. Dogs do not just collapse into bed when exhausted like human beings. They spend a significant amount of time setting up their bed before resting for the night. Before falling asleep, you must have seen them spin in circles. This bedtime habit is a little obsessive and they don't get peaceful sleep unless they finish this little dance routine. But there is a reason for it. Canine ancestors like wild wolves conducted the same behavior and domestic dogs have inherited this genetic tendency. Evolutionary habits like this are geared at self-preservation and have potent impacts in the animal kingdom that lasts for generations. Circling around helps the wolf assess the direction of the wind and set itself accordingly. That way, when there is another animal around, the wind will carry its smell to the wolf, and it can wake up and be ready to attack. The majority of domestic dogs are pets that live in our homes or in other secure, regulated environments. Even though wild creatures do not threaten them, our canine companions have kept this natural defensive feature. As a result, our dogs, like their forefathers, spin a few times before calling it a night. Number two, thrashing toys. If you have a dog, you must have probably seen it a million times. Your dog takes up its favorite squeaky toy and shakes it as vigorously as it can from side to side. It is stated as murderous behavior. However, there's no need to be concerned, really. Although the behavior is instinctive, it does not always mean that your dog is on the verge of murder. It's a play factor for domesticated dogs. They enjoy the tactile sensation provided by the toy striking the sides of their faces. It's just another form of rowdy play. While many dogs howl and behave hostile when someone attempts to pull a toy out of their jaws, multiple studies have revealed that tug games do not make puppies violent. On the other hand, the enthusiastic play could quickly get out of hand, and even the kindest dogs can end up causing some damage, only because they were too excited. But if any dog growls, be careful around it because it's not always easy to tell the difference between playful fun and a warning. Number three, staring. Your dog also uses eye contact to communicate both good and negative emotions. Staring is considered dangerous and unpleasant by their wolf ancestors. And some dogs today carry that mindset till today. That is why you must never stare down unknown dogs or hold canines steady to see them in the eyes. Back up and avoid eye contact if a dog gives you an intense gaze with unblinking eyes and a rigid stance. You could notice this with your dog when a bone or other valuable reward is at stake. A harsh glare and hostile body language are frequently used in resource guarding. Consult a competent trainer or behaviorist if you notice it in your dog. Of course, a lot of dog gazing is what it just appears to be, a show of love and affection. Dogs will stare at their guardians to communicate devotion, much like people do when they look into the eyes of anyone they admire. Mutual staring between people and dogs causes the production of oxytocin, sometimes referred to as the love hormone. This chemical promotes bonding and increases sentiments of trust and love. When you stare at your dog, it's the same hormone produced when a new mom looks at her infant is stimulated. It's no surprise that our pets are always staring at us. Give your canine a warm hug and pat when they stare you out of love. Number four, eating feces. If you are easily grossed out, you might want to skip a few seconds. Eating feces droppings is a totally normal method of obtaining vital nutrients for some animals, such as rabbits. If rabbits are not allowed to do this, they will have health problems and their young will not flourish. Thankfully, dogs do not use this method of nourishment. However, it is a typical natural habit at several phases of canine development. For the first three weeks after giving birth, mother dogs will lick their pups to encourage them to eliminate and clean up their feces by eating them. Puppies will naturally indulge in this habit, eating their excrements and feces from other dogs, cats, and other animals. Horse dung and geese droppings are particularly enticing to some canines. 
I know that sounds gross, but don't worry, it isn't a lifelong thing. Eating their feces is safe, but eating dung from other species may create health concerns if the stool contains parasites, viruses, or poisons. In most situations, this behavior will diminish before the puppy reaches the age of nine months. Other than that, if an adult dog shows signs of eating feces, it might be under some stress. To stop this behavior, contact your vet as soon as possible. Number five, rolling in the grass. Dogs do a lot of adorable things. They also do a lot of nasty stuff. Depending on the circumstances, rolling on the grass can be either one. There are various reasons why dogs roll in the grass, but most of them are related to smell. Dogs have a good sense of smell and use it to communicate with their surroundings. They can use odor to detect prey traces and interact with other dogs. So if your canine is rolling in the grass, it might be to pick up the sweet smell of grass to cover up a bad smell or leave their scent behind. If you see your canine rolling in the grass and they love it, there is no reason to stop them. But you might also need to check them sometimes while they're rolling, mainly while they feel itchy or uncomfortable. If they do so, they could require tick or flea medication. Check whether the grass has been sprayed with herbicides or pesticides, which can be toxic to your dog. If your dog is constantly rolling in the grass, it might be an indication of persistent irritation caused by allergies, a skin infection, parasites, or something else. In any case, take your dog to the vet. Number 6. Howling Dogs make use of various vocal communications methods, including howling. Dogs scream to attract attention, make a connection with others, and make their presence known. Some dogs howl in reaction to high-pitched noises, such as those made by emergency vehicles or musical equipment. Some dogs howl because they are lonely, mainly kept alone or chained outside for long periods. Dogs, like humans, are highly sociable creatures who require daily connection with their human families. If your dog frequently howls when left alone, you need to spend more time together. Take it home quite often, play games, and go on walks with it. You could even bring it to a fun training class that involves rewarding good manners. Number seven, humps you. First and foremost, the good news. Humping is a relatively widespread practice. You are not alone in owning a dog who enjoys the activity. And contrary to popular belief, it is not always sexually driven. So what's the big deal? Humping is often used to exercise dominance. It is true whether the recipient is a human or another canine. It can indicate that the dog is nervous, overstimulated, or acting out. When a cushion or stuffed animal is the target of your dog's devotion, the dog has likely been overly enthusiastic and overstimulated. Some dogs might become out of control as a result of rough play. Humping can occasionally also be an indication of a medical condition. So don't be grossed out, get your dog checked by a reliable vet if you notice unusual symptoms. Number 8. Digging Holes in the Yard If your dog is making holes all over your yard, it's important to know that they're not doing it out of anger, so don't yell at them. They're only looking for some fun, attention, warmth, food, or safety. Dogs may dig holes in hot weather to rest in the cool ground. They can also dig to protect themselves from the cold, wind, or rain, or obtain water. If the holes are near concrete foundations, giant shade trees, or a water source, your dog can be digging for warmth or safety. In such circumstances, try to comfort your dog with love and shelter. Number 9. Sniffing Other Dog's Butt Many pet owners are confused about why dogs smell this particular body area. What's the connection with tails? Why not hands or feet? The reason is anatomical. Two tiny sacs inside the rectum called anal glands discharge a foul-smelling liquid into the rectum through it with a pair of small holes. Once the rectal sphincter muscles contract, the glands are naturally empty during intestinal movement. The stench of the anal glands is usually covered by the odor of the dog's excrement, so pet owners are ignorant of this occurrence, but dogs can sense the difference. With this odor, dogs can remember their mates and recognize them whenever they meet again. Number 10, tail chasing. It's not unusual to see dogs running after their tails. You could even witness a dog performing it in a circle over and over. When dogs chase their tails, they are sometimes just having fun. They're discovering their bodies and what they're capable of. 
On the other hand, tail chasing can indicate compulsive activity. Compulsive behavior is displayed for a more extended amount of time than usual, is repeated out of context, or is performed in conditions regarded as abnormal. Compulsive habits typically worsen with time and need medical or behavioral care. When tail chasing stops being a fun thing and becomes a bother for you and any other pets you have, you basically have compulsive behavior on your hands. So it is essential to consult with your veterinarian in this circumstance. So which of these habits are seen frequently in your dog? Please share it with us in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.